Well, the Cody County Jail has seen no relief for a very serious problem. There are more inmates than there are beds. In fact, 70% of the jail population are felons. And as KXOI's Anusha Roy reports, many have been transported out of the area at taxpayers' expense. It's like a city no one wants to live in. Finish, ready to go back? At the Kootenai County Jail, there has to be enough space to sleep, enough to feed inmates and shower. Space is a continuing problem with more inmates than the 325 beds available. And we can't house someone who's a very violent felon you know, in a large pod where they, they could harm other inmates. There's a type of criminal the sheriff's office is having the most problems with. It's mostly felons. It's mostly violent felons uh, because we need to be able to house them in individual cells where we can isolate them from other inmates. Dealing with overcrowding is important to make sure inmates' civil rights are not violated. There are also guidelines dictating how much space each inmate gets, so they've been sent to other facilities like in Nez Perce and Shoshone County. About a million dollars a year is set aside for inmate transportation, so I asked the sheriff's office why not set that money aside to help with the overcrowding problem. Well, they said that money can't be spent twice, and if there's some type of improvement going on at the jail, well, there'd still be an overcrowding problem. Several attempts to expand the jail have been struck down by voters. Today, it continues to be an issue people are aware of with split opinions. I think we should take care of our own problems here and not, and not depend on other communities. Well, I think the money would be much better spent on improving our roads uh, for our schools to keep our kids from having problems with the law. In North Idaho, Anusha Roy, KXLY4 HD News.